Hey, yeah, that's right. I'm back. Hey, everybody. I am Mr. Babble here with the final chapter of the Charnel House Trilogy. Part 3, Exhale. <sighs> Alright. If you recall, last time we... Just go watch them. Never mind. We are back with Alex, as we should be. Ugh, Not that there was... I'm so bored. Wish I hadn't given that dude my book. I never even caught his name. Lang, actually. That was pretty rude of me, actually. I should have asked. Maybe I'll go find him. You might want to start looking in the bags. Whoa. God damn. We've only been traveling for half an hour. Felt like a lot longer. Still got most of the journey left. I wonder if there are any other stops. I'd kill for a cigarette. I should Not go stretch my legs, see if that train dude's around, ask him where the other guy's cabin is, or just see if there's a bar. Okay, are you done? Are you done now? You're not going to stop and then let me start talking and then keep going with a new page of text? All right, then. My train tickets. All right, what's in the purse? Cards, money, mace, the usual. All right, mace is good. Mace is nah. good. Cause that weird palpamorts out there. I'm not even a sure if he has of a eyes. Sickly looking guy in a hat. I wonder who this is. Some guy in a hat. I don't know. Don't look at me. Alright. Oh, you want me to just make a pop culture reference out of nowhere? Okay, sickly looking guy in a hat. How about a steam Dr. Facilier in the it last minutes exactly of the movie? Like the one I'm on. Maybe it is. There's a plaque at the bottom. It says, Old Gloria's Inaugural Trip, December 1988. Well, the last minutes of the movie he was in. A compartment door. I can't hear anything. A compartment. All right, yes, yes. When I saw him earlier, I thought he was old. But no, he just has white hair. Now I look at him properly, he seems kind of familiar. Okay, that explains it. Like rare pe some rare people and many, many, many hey, more anime characters, he has white hair without being How's old. How's old Gloria treating you so far? Gloria? The train, lass. Old girl you just looked at the painting! It's like lying on air, isn't it? It's... She's... Kind of... Ancient, right? Hmm. <laughs> you could say that. Been running well over a hundred years, so she has. Of course, she's had every part replaced more than once. So she's not really the same train at all, then. Kinda is. It's the same heart, though. Anyway, he youngins don't want to be listening to old going on about history. I already talked that museum doctor's ear off. Oh no, <laughs> not at all. I'm fascinated by the past, actually. When I was younger, me and my friend used to go out in the countryside looking for old bits and pieces. Had a big collection. Oh, I. I used to be a bit of a mudlarker myself, actually. Mudlarker? Isn't that a type of bird? Aye, so it is. But it's also the name we give to people who wander around the shores of rivers and sea banks, picking up all manner of old tack. I found myself some pretty rare stuff back in the day, so I did. Oh yeah? Like what? Did you find a Tasha oh, Just the usual stuff. Found an old tin of photos once, though. That was a fun thing. So, what were the photos? With, miss? Why were they fun? You make this journey a lot? Aye. More than I care to remember, actually. Aye, sure enough. It's pretty unusual to find such a late night route, right? I was surprised when I saw it. Aye. I like the night shift. Nice and quiet. Less so tonight, mind. My doctor's been up and down like a yo yo. And won't sit still. I think he'll Surprises be still not now. In the corridors right now, actually. Still. He did get me a sniff of whiskey. Can't complain. Sorry, I can go back to my compartment if you'd like. No, not at all. I've already had my nap. The more of the merrier, I say. And I'm sure Floyd would be happy to see you as well. So, the port town we're headed to... Aye. Quaint little Nippawamset. Nippawamset. I like There's that. There's nothing to see there. Nothing at all. Don't any of the bigger port towns have boats to Augur Peak? Nope. Just that one place. Not exactly a popular tourist destination. That's why crazy you author man lives yourself? there. It's hard to get there. Ogre Peak. Aye, plenty. I live there after all. Oh, so you'll be crossing with us? 
Hi. Got some time off. You got family there? Hi, my wife's over on the island. She misses old Don when he's gone. Oh, he misses the missus. So, you say the other guy's a doctor, huh? Hi. Off to all got to dig around in the ruins. I had no idea my old home island had any historical secrets like that. Here. It's funny, isn't it? You, me, and him. All with an interest in archaeology. Wait, wait. His name isn't, uh, Howard or something, is it? Harold Lang, if I'm thinking right. Why? Do you know him? Friend of a friend. That's so weird. I had no idea when I met him on the station. Life can be strange sometimes, aye? <laughs> oh, don't. You'll be saying it's fate next. Maybe we're all set to discover some great treasure on the island. Actually, it's funny. This isn't that it's kind of adventure game. It's not just us, game. either. Oh? Yeah, my friend Kat. She's on the island. She's, uh, she's Dr. Lang's assistant. I've heard a fair bit about him. He seems different. I How is she relevant? Do, don't they? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you know, all these young men these days. Huh. Yeah. I get you. Ha. Anyway, I wanted to ask, what compartment is Lang in? Thought I'd go introduce myself properly. Especially now I know he's Kat's boss. Well, it doesn't really apply to me. I'm... But hey, he told me he was going to take a nap. Asked me to wake him in an hour. So I'll give you a nod once he's up and about again. Okay, cheers. Guess I'll go back to my room then. You could head on down to the end. I bet Floyd would love to see a lovely young lady. Uh, Floyd? Floyd. He was one the of the Electric room. Mayhem band on the Muppets. Runs the bar. It's open, if you fancy a drink. Hmm. Yeah, a drink sounds good about now. Thanks, Don. You want anything? Oh, I could go for some... what? No, better not. I'll fall asleep on my feet again. You fell asleep without <laughs> Nobody whiskey, Nobody wants to see a conductor with bags under his eyes. Okay, sure. Catch you later, Don. Alright, as I was saying earlier when I got cut off, it was he said the young man these days, and I was like, hey, and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm not really a young man these days. But... A that's... compartment door. I can hear the faint sound of talking from within. They okay. sound busy. Okay, never mind. I will not bother them. Oh, hi. She looks weirdly like me. Uncannily so. That's so cool. I should ask Dawn about her sometime. The canvas looks lumpy. Like there's something behind it. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. It was you, Alex. All along, you've been a dead woman in an 18th century, or in an early 19th century a picture. Door. I can hear strange grunting. I'll, uh, yeah. All this has been strangely accurately prophetic the visions of the future from your dying for brain. Out fires or dispersing rowdy parties. A compartment door. I can hear faint, melancholy piano music from within. Listening to the music makes me sad. I don't want to go in. Okay. Anyway, and then after you passed away, your body was posed in various places, and the pictures were put on the train. Okay, no, that's probably not how it ends, but, you know. Oh, and Floyd's not here. Hello? Floyd? Anyone? Hmm. No sign. Floyd was the bass player on the Muppets whose mustache oh. suggested he Sounds could like he's out back. possibly have been related wait, to then. Yosemite Sam. I'm not hungry. Food. All the tables are laid with food. It still looks hot. Where are the diners? I'll take it if you don't want it. Just what I like to see. A well-stocked bar. Shame nobody's around to tend it. So help yourself? Yeah, I see the glass on the bar. It looks a window suspicious. window looking out into the night. The train's moving fast. I'm saving oh, it for last. Oh, look. Someone's left a Bloody Mary lying around. I shouldn't. No, you really Could shouldn't. I? I'm gonna do it anyway. If I do it, I'm gonna well, get a whipping. it is just sitting here. Wait, there's a note beside it. 
Dear Alex, I thought you could use a drink. Steady your nerves. I'll be gone a while. Floyd. Well, that's thoughtful. How did you know your name? I doed it! No point waiting for Floyd in here, I guess. Alright, it's about to get extraordinarily screwed up from here. Very, very, very bizarre. Never, you know, Hellraiser levels. Nothing visually door. graphic, I don't believe, but, uh... A compartment door. Anyway, I'm going in. Brace yourself. This could be horrible. It could be a, a little ballerina midget. Or a little girl. Or a little boy in a wig. Or... Hobbit. Uh, hi. Hey. Alright, um, I'm just gonna settle on a little girl because a small that's my girl suspicion. Dressed in a ballet Aha! Outfit. She looks very sad. A music box. It's playing a beautiful, melancholy waltz. A lantern. A fairly typical one. Yes, I've just barged into your room to just randomly describe There's what I see. There's only one bag here. Is this girl traveling alone? Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm... I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> You're older than me. True. What are you, four? Five? She doesn't sound four I'm or five. Eight, actually. Oh, well, we we're go. almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. Your daddy live in Nipawamzet? What a silly name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Aw, kid. Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look so sad? Yes, I lost him I... in the couch cushions. No, actually. He... he'd been suffering. It was better this way. I said my goodbyes already. Grown-ups are weird. Yeah. Don't I know it. Anyway, let's not talk about that. What do you want to talk about? KITTENS! It's almost always kittens with me. Alright. Lydia. Tell me about yourself. Reminds me of a song. Do you travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Why did you hate it? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just lonely, angsty things. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown-ups? Weird. Not a grown-up. Not completely. Uh, yeah, she is. She's got her own place. She's a grown-up. So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. Well, a little. I do. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you do, kiddo. Alright, ballet. Let's ask about the ballet. I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I keep trying and trying, but I don't get any better. You seem pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it, then? My daddy wants me to. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh man, that takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it too. Didn't work though. The other girls didn't like me. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them, which made them tease me. In it's the end I got the way. Out of class for smashing one of the huge mirrors. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Don't go getting ideas, Missy. I'm a terrible role model. Obviously. I like but a pretty good necklace. protagonist. Thanks. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend? Gross. Uh, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. But there's nothing gross about it. 
but boys are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Trust me, you might change your mind though. Sadly. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. He has a silly name. It's dignified. He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. Anyway, well, I should leave you to your practice. Okay. Come back and see me later. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, Lydia reminds me of a song. No, Maybe not Beetlejuice. Maybe I should go see Dawn. Ask if Lang's awake yet. Right. Lydia, oh Lydia, hey, have you met Lydia? Lydia, the tattooed lady. She's got eyes that men adore so, and her torso even more so. Anyway, I don't remember what movie it's from, but that was sung by Groucho hey. Marx. Even miss. Any sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but it was out cold. It seemed unkind to shake him awake. I could go get some cold water if that'd help. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. I'm imagining unicorns. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? I never told you my name, Missy. You have a name tag. I'm pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, it's no matter. Just something to think on, is all. Maybe a little bird told you. That is kind of creepy. strange. I'm sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? No, the other one. The portrait. The young woman? Oh, aye. Her. Huh. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me! Don't say you can't see it. Oh, aye, now you mention it, she does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> who was she? Don't rightly know. She came with Gloria. Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye. You're a daughter, I imagine. Well, well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, could we, like, not talk about my father right now? He kind of passed away very recently. Oh, aye. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. What about your mum? Are you and her still close? Still? Well, I assumed... Uh, y uh, you assumed wrong. We were never close. I'm sure that's not true now, lassie. I'm sure everything she did had your best interests at heart. Hang on, hang on. You don't know anything about her, or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry, this conversation's creeping me out, okay? Oh, lassie. I don't blame uh, her. It's kind of out of place for, oh, damn it. We're all uh, gonna die! Balls. There we go, into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out every damn time here. Settled the crews will get us! The long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good 15 minutes. I've got a candle here, but nothing to light it with. This isn't regular darkness. This Here, is use advanced this darkness. And they mostly come out at night. Mostly. Alright. Good work, lass. We're good. I used to give him my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Well, that Help sounds more? astonishingly unsafe. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behavior. It's not every day we have guests. It kind of is, is your train. train. Yeah. See? See? Is it? The hell? Dramatic organ chord? What? Where the hell did he go? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. 
fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. I'd better not tamper with the machinery. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did, but please note that if you don't want to, I can't force the like, comment, subscribe issue. I am not the boss of you. Good night.